Shalom. I want to start giving all praises due to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shara, Ka, Kadah. Respect and honor to the apostles, teachers, bishops that taught and preached this gospel of truth to hopefully wake up the Lord's elect. So how you take us to all you brothers laying your life down on the front line to become up and coming teachers, preachers, apostles. To teach the gospel of truth. This is another episode of Glad Tidings Ministry. And this is Prince Shema Basal. And the lesson I want to go over today is millions missing. Where are they? Millions missing. Where are they? And this is out of an old magazine that I got. 50 Cent. I think they say it says The Last Trumpet. And it says, it happened last night about midnight. Millions of people vanished from the earth, seemingly into the thin air, leaving no trace, only bewilderment. Untold numbers of husbands, wives, brothers, and friends have been left hysterically by the strange disappearance of their loved ones to who knows where. <laughs> Wow, right? Spooky. Right? Then it says, Our offices have been flooded with calls from panic-stricken people, frightened, frightened and faint from the mysterious phenomenon. A shocked f father told us of his daughter who has disappeared. She was always talking about flying away to heaven with Jesus and being, being raptured. I thought she was on drugs or something, and now I didn't know where she is. One housewife described her astonishment on her husband turned to kiss the night and vanish into the process. A group of horrified teenagers stopped in their tracks as a friend they called Doomsday Dave disappeared while he was talking to them. As one boy put it, yeah, man. He was always telling us to give up drugs and truly be free and happy. A young girl remembered, yeah, that's right. He was a Jesus freak. Mm -hmm. He was a Jesus freak. Ain't that something? He was always making up little poems. Like only yesterday he was saying, if you want to know what the most high, I'm, I'm going to read it for Bayon, the article, for God has in store, just read Matthew 24. Then it says, our reporter sat in a local church serving and heard the pastor say, all my dear friends in the congregation, I thank God that you were all here today. I'm sure many of you haven't lost loved ones in this unusual disappearance. I believe that God's judgment has fallen upon them for their continued resistance to the unification of all Christianity under the one world church. You hear this shit? The temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord are these. And it's not. Okay, we're going to read that. With all malcontents removed, we can now progress toward our glorious goal. After the sermon, I heard one pressure. What is that? Parishioner Say, you know what I think, brother? I think all that talk about the Antichrist, the, the end time, one world church, the great tribulation, and the second coming of Jesus Christ wasn't nuts at all. How come all the people that are gone were born again Christians and everyone that was living in sin is still here? I don't know about you, but I'm going to find my wife's Bible with all those verses underlined and see what's going to happen next. Okay, so 
a few years ago, we remember um, one reprobate, and it was um, polite. Everybody was like, oh, check out polite. Which, which was the Antichrist. He's the Antichrist. And if you look at the definition of what an Antichrist is, we're going to look at that too. It's more than one person. It's anybody that's going against the Lord. And the Antichrist is a deceiver. So he leads you away from the book of life, which is the Bible. So polite, shout out the Bible. This is old. And he was proving that the Bible was a lie and making all these false accusations. And the number one thing, a lot of many, a lot of many men, that's the song came to my head. Many, 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 many men. They would use that um the rape doctrine, saying that um you shouldn't mess with a girl under the age of um twelve. It was some it was it was something similar to that, saying that we was molesters and child molesters. And not one person in that group a, a great millstone of child molesters. Or nor do we condone that. Condone that. But anyway, here they're there, here or there. This polite shout out the Bible. He said we were child molesters. Now it's funny. Let me show you something. Oh, let's go to Let's see this. Let's see this. Let's, let's go this. Now I don't know if how true it is, but we gotta put this out there. Let's see if we can find that. Now, where's he at? Let's see. Brother. See this. Look at this. Polite court hearing. Okay, this is all this different stuff. Okay. We ain't gonna give him too much fame. And like I said, I don't know if all these charges is true. But um look, this is brother polite charges upgraded. And thank you for yourself, it's deemed dangerous. Alright, I'm not gonna even play the video because this is old, but I'm making um a statement here. Alright. This is the same man polluted the um shot up the Bible. This is the same man that condemned the Bible. This is the same man that's the Antichrist. Okay? And now let's look up what does the Antichrist mean? Antichrist definition. Okay.
Here we go. Antichrist. As some Christian teachings, a personal opponent or Christ expected to appear before the end of the world. The battle between Christ and the Antichrist. A person foreseen and opposing Christ or the Christian church. Plural noun, Antichrist. A personal thing regarded as supremely evil or as a fundamental enemy or opponent. I see the media as the Antichrist. The meaning of Antichrist is one who denies or opposes Yahweh specifically, a great antagonist expected to fill the world with wickedness. And that's what he was doing. He was against, in Proverbs it says, um, a fool says that there is no power, most high. So that's the illustration on that. And he also said in one of his statements, if I remember, he said, yeah, I actually believe that. Y'all actually believe that some man is going to come through the clouds and, cop, and pop, pop, bust through the clouds and beam y'all up. A lot of people don't believe in this word until it happens. So this article, and at the end it says, I'm going to find out, find my wife's Bible. It's going to be too late for that. It's going to be too late to, for that to find your wife's Bible to now dig into that. Because when this shit hit, and when the Lord comes, excuse my name, when the Lord comes cracking through that sky and beating up his, beaming up his intellect, not everybody. We're going to see firsthand the destruction of this world. Then down on the bottom of the same article, it just says, where are they? And also, I wanted to add on before I add some scriptures to it. When you go to certain these churches, you'll see the elect of their so-called 144,000 concerning these churches. And it'd be mostly European people or national of the nations beaming up. The Lord's going to come beam them up. And they're going to be of the elect beamed up. Now here it is. If they so-called look like that, because of confusing their faces, it might be true. Because they might they're gonna be Israelites with confusing their faces. A lot of people didn't even think about that. Because a lot of Israelites gonna come in different forms. They're gonna look like because we were spread it all over the universe, all over the four corners. And then it says that too, right? You might see a brother looking like a Vietnamese. But he's going to be an Israelite. And let me make this clear. He's not going to be a regular Israelite. He's going to be the elect of Israel. That's going to have a confusion of faces. He might look like a Korean man. Or features of a, a, a Korean. He might have a features of a so-called Hamite. He might have a feature, feature um, face features of a... Um, of a so-called Edomite, but he's gonna have a spirit of the elect of Israel. Because I don't know how many people don't realize this, even Israel is gonna be saved, but not on this time coming. It's only gonna be of the elect first, the first fruits that's gonna be saved. And that's a fact, and that's the truth, and the truth will set you free. So, we're going to show you what the scriptures say. Let's go with Matthew 24, 36. Let's do that on hand. See, everybody wants to hold on to something when they start getting scared and nervous. And we're gonna be happy when all these things take place because we know salvation is near, man. And I'm gonna break this down and then, um, for better understanding, so I'm not gonna use the King James Version. First Thessalonians 4, 16. 
1 Thessalonians 4, 16. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a cloud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of the Most High, and the dead in Yahawashah will rise first. Right? Mm -mm -mm. And after that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. You got to have faith. You got to have a relationship with, with this. You got to really believe in this walk. Remember, we are the children of light, and we're in a world with the children of darkness. Remember, we are the children of light, and we're in a world with the children of darkness. This is nothing but good and evil. Yin and a yang. All right? A bad side, an unrighteous side, a righteous side. It's simple. Read that again. It says, for the Lord himself will come down from heaven with the loud command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet called the Most High, and the dead in Yahawashah will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so will we be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Encourage one another with these words. Encourage one another with these words. Mm. How should you be living? What should you be speaking on? Who should you be praising? What righteous acts should you be rehearsing to the best of your ability? Passover. Okay. Day of Atonement. And all the other ones that come with that to the best of your ability. But most of all, it's better than do than to sacrifice. Yeah, it's better to do than to sacrifice. Try to live it to the best of your ability. Put it in your inward parts. This is the way. Walk ye in it. This is the way. Walk thee in it. It says, therefore, encourage one another with these words. Preach that gospel. Give charity. Charity starts at home. Charity starts with what? The gospel of truth. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven starts with the, the knowledge and wisdom of the Lord. His commandments. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Here a little. There a little. And then bring it into context. Research history. What were they doing in that time? Reframing from wicked Negroes. Reframing from wicked Negroes. Don't be the dog that returns to the vomit. 
Don't be that dog that returns to his own vomit. Don't be that dog that returns to his own vomit. Matthew 24, 36. So, if anyone tells you, there he is, out in the wilderness, do not go out. Or, here he is, in the inner room, do not believe it. For as lightning that comes from the east is visible, even in the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. You would know, because now they got these little trickery things, like an angel going in the sky, and stuff like that, like with visions with the, um, with the photo um that photo thing makes something look live it's all a soul of mystery that's what the antichrist is here to do to deceive you the antichrist is here to deceive you i have written these things for them that try to seduce you you know i'm not going to read no all no on um, paragraph no newspaper without saying that that's one of my favorite scriptures I have written these things for them that try to seduce you. And what was so annoying about this, millions missing, where are they? Then it tells you God's judgment has fallen upon them for their continued resistance to the um, unification of all Christianity under one world church. Have we not talked about that? One new world order, one major religion. And these same niggas, like Polite and other scoffers in the past had laughed about that. I even had a guy that read the paragraph and said, I believed everything until I found out that you said that the fish Swallowed a man and he lived. Didn't see. Don't the Bible talk in deep, dark sentences? Don't the Bible talk in allegories and in dark sentences? So, nigga, can you read? Is that all you got out of that? Is that a fish swallowed a man and the man lived? That's just, that's just, that's that's how far your imagination and, 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 and your brain capacity can soak in like a sponge. Is it that small? Is it that like a pebble? That that's all you can get out of it? Is to say something like that? The paragraph was showing, the dark sentence was showing that how Jonah could not do what he wanted to do. That when the Lord tell you to do something, you can't do what you wanted to do. You will do what the Lord say what you to do. Because the Lord didn't want, Jonah did not want to go to Nineveh. Because Nineveh, Nineveh was like going into the projects right now. Where some of you say, oh, you niggas don't go in the hood. <laughs> we go on the four corners, the highway and the byway. Where some of you, where, where the merchants would be at. Where some of you, the Gagora. When some of you pass by, you will see us. You got the internet now. Why do I got to go in the projects with niggas shooting at to preach this word? Don't niggas go shopping? Don't they go to different places? So you'll see us preaching the word around about there. But my point is, they don't believe until they start getting afraid. Then they want to start doing research. Then they want to start asking you questions. Then they want to start running under you. No. That was the story of Jonah. That was the reason of it. They want to say the donkey talked. Allegories, deep dark sentences, precept upon precept, line upon line, context, history.
outlining it and then giving it the major points. That's how you study to outline it. And that's all a nigga could say to me is that he didn't believe this Bible because he had ate a fish. The fish had swallowed a man whole. And that's when he said, oh, no, I can't believe in this. But that was out of the whole context of that story with Jonah. That's all that nigga got. <laughs> Woo wee. Bonkers. Now, can you imagine that? The ones that scoffed and mocked and the ones that don't believe and say this is a fairy tale, that when they wake up and it seems like mad people disappearing, missing, that they know that they seen and ain't there no more. And it ain't going to be none of you niggas in the Christian church either. It has to be from an Israelite, the elect out of Israel that's preaching this. The, the truth that no one will willing to affect to... It's the truth that no one is willing to accept. And a lot of them don't accept niggas on the corners with the fringes on. It has to be a white man. It has to be a China man. It has to be another man. He has to have a church, but he can't be an Israelite man with the fringes on and the borders are blue. It can't be him. Because they're looking for an image of Caesar Borgia. And we done ripped that down. We, Caesar Borgia is a non-factor. When it clearly gives a clear distinction of what our Savior will look like. A dark man. Rough and rugged. But a, he's an austere man with power that spoke with many waters. That, with a deep voice and eyes bloodshot red because he loved to drink wine. How could that be a savior? Because they look at us down. Like nothing good could come for us but singing, rapping, dancing, and saying hoes and bitches and making babies. <laughs> but not realizing when you go to Deuteronomy 28, we are supposed to be the head, but we are the tails. But the Lord's going to set us back up to be the head. And all you nations is going to be the tells. Because there's three men of different men. The sons of God. The sons of men. And the sons of wicked. And the sons of the most high. Is the children of Israel. The son of men is the nation. And the son of the wicked. The perdition is the so-called Esau. So-called European. Now. Just because a man has a white complexion don't mean he's not a black man, a so-called black man. Because there's confusion of faces. So we don't know by just by looking at the man color of skin whether he is not of Israel. But even if a man is of Israel, nigga, if you're not of the elect of Israel, you ain't getting in. You're getting on the other, on the other side. But even wicked Israel has got to die. They got to pay for the things that they've done because some of them didn't even turn around. Some of them haven't even repented. But they're quick to call on God. Yeah, you can call on God because God's come in many forms, but it's only one true power and he got a name and his name is Yahweh. And what is his son name? Yahweh Shah. That's the truth. And that's what's setting us free from above all these other Ponds. So back to the article, the, 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 the um paragraph. It was like in the end it says this. Check this out. It says spiritual leaders call for one world church. Ain't that something? It kind of reminds you of then they will sell peace and then the end will come. Let's go to Revelations. Eleven and twelve. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. 
and they went up to heaven in a cloud while their enemies looked on. Revelation 11, 22. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud while their enemies looked on. <laughs> they that heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud while their enemies looked on. <laughs> That's breathtaking. Now everybody want to mock that, right? They want to mock that. What else do you have down here? There's another article that they said that in a couple of more years, the food shortage is going to be, it's going to be a lack of food. That's why you got all this fake food that they're giving to you. Because the earth is running out of the, the real produce food, the good food for you. So they making clone food, clone meats. Niggas is dying quicker, but they saying niggas is living longer. Pharmaceuticals giving you pill to pop, telling you that it's gonna be cleared for it instead of you taking herbs. A man gets to turn, gets to tell you what to accept as far as your um sexuality and now sexuality is, is is part of a law that he gives and he expects you to follow it and then he puts his he covers behind the bible and acts as if though he is god or though he is the most high and he gives you all these nasty laws and tell you you should follow him you better follow him or you won't get this right. You won't get this right. Y'all keep running to Egypt. I'm going to end it with this last one, man. It is true. That the Lord's going to say, come up here. And he's going to gather us up. And our enemies going to look upon us. That's the faith that we got to believe. In, 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 in this thing of ours. We are the children of the light. We don't have no ties with the children of the darkness. You always knew there was something special about you than your other foes. How you moved. You didn't get it right away. But you got it. You're a little different from them. You're a little different from them. Read it again. Revelations 11 and 12. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went up to here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud while their enemies looked on. Mm, mm, mm. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, come up here. And they went up to heaven in a, in a cloud while their enemies looked on. While their enemies looked on. Let's see what that cloud. Strong's G, 3507. Nefele. Nefele.
Strong's G 3509. Nefas. Nefas. A large gent walks through a throng, used to denote a great shapeless collection of vapor obscuring the heavens as opposed to a particular indefinite mass of vapor with some form of a shape. That cloud is going to be similar around about like a UFO, who people we call a UFO. And it's going to say, come up here and it's going to beam us up, similar to like what you see in the movies. But this is reality, baby. This ain't no acting here. This is reality. This is based on a true story. This ain't a fiction story. And we're going to end it with that. But we're going to let that last scripture. All praises due to Yahweh HaShem, Yahweh Shah, the Kadah. And then it says, Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went up to heaven and they cloud. While their enemies looked on. Yeah, you niggas gonna be looking up on us while we be beamed up. Lord willing, or we are the elect. All praises due to Yahweh Simeon Yahweh Shalom.